Today we're going to be dividing tenths and hundredths by one digit. Now it's important to know that when you're dividing tenths or hundredths by a single whole number, that the process is going to be exactly the same thing as if you were dividing regular whole numbers. All right, the only difference is, is that you have to pay close attention to the decimal on where it is in the dividend. So here we have 372 divided by 4, we have 37.2 divided by 4, and 3.72 divided by 4. Now I'm going to show you that dividing the whole number is going to be the same thing, and that we're going to get the exact same digits in each of these three quotients. The only difference is, is where the decimal is going to be. So let us begin. When we're starting off with our whole digit um, division, we have 372 divided by 4. We're going to figure out how many groups of 4 can go into 3. Or, 4 times what is going to come as close to 3 as possible or equal to 3. Now we know that the 4 is already greater than the 3, therefore it is 0. And the 0 is going to be placed over the 3 as we have to keep our place value. And then we're going to calculate 4 times 0, which is 0. Now we're going to subtract 3 by 3. 0. And our answer is going to be 3. Now the next step is to bring the 7 down and we're going to have a new number of 37. Now once again we're going to repeat the process. How many groups of 4 can go into 37 or come as close to 37 as possible? Now when we think of that it's going to be 9. As 4 times 9 is 36 so that 9 is going to go over the 7 and 4 times 9 is going to be 36. And we're going to subtract 37 by 36, and we have 1. And finally, our 2 is going to go down, and we're going to create a new number, which is now 12. And we're going to ask ourselves again, how many groups of 4 can go into 12? And the answer would be 3 times, as it is equal. The 3 goes over the 2, and then we do 4 times 3, and we subtract it, and we have no remainder. So we get an answer of 93 as our quotient. Okay, so let's do the decimal. We now have 37.2 divided by 4. Now, as I mentioned before, the process is exactly the same. Therefore, we're going to ask ourselves, how many groups of 4 can go into 3, or 4 times blank, is going to equal to or come close to 3 as possible. But that is not possible since the 4 is greater than the 3. So it is 0 times. And once again, the 0 goes over the 3. Now 4 times 0 is 0. Now we're going to subtract 3 minus 0, and we're going to have 3. Now same process. The 7 is going to come down, and it's going to come up next to the 3, and we're going to create the new number of 37. Now how many groups of 3, or sorry, 4, can go into 37. So 4 times what is going to equal to 37? And the closest number that we could get to is 9. 9 goes over to 7. 4 times 9 is 36. We're going to subtract that, and we have 1. Now we've reached the decimal. And it's important to pay attention, again, as I said, to where the decimal is. The decimal in the dividend is next to the 7. Now that we've reached the decimal, the decimal now is going to go up into the quotient and go next to the 9. The decimal goes up, and we're going to continue with our process. The 2 comes down to create a new number. So we don't have to worry about bringing the decimal down. So as soon as we get to the decimal in the dividend, then we have to put it up into the quotient. And then we could continue on with the same thing. 4 times what is going to come as close to 12 as possible. And it is 3 as it equals 12. And the 3 is going to go up into the quotient. And then we have 12. Remember the remainder of 0. So this now gives us an answer of 9.3. And as we could see, it's the same digits as 372 divided by 4. 
Instead, now we have 9.3. And that's why it's important to pay close attention to where the decimal is in the dividend. So we're going to go ahead and do 3.72 divided by 4. And as I mentioned before, it's the same process. So start again. How many groups of 4 can go into 3? Or 4 times what can go into 3? As we know, it is 0 times. 0 goes over the 3. We're going to do 4 times 0, which is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. However, this time in this question, the decimal is now after the 3. So immediately that we've reached the 3 now, the decimal goes up into the quotient, and we're going to place the decimal next to the 0. Now we could continue, just like as if it was a whole number division. 7 comes down. We now do how many groups of 4 can go into 37. And we determined before that it was 9. Then 9 goes above the 7. 36 under the 37. We're going to subtract that. We have 1. And once again, the 2 comes down to create our new number of 12. How many groups of 12, or sorry, 4 can go into 12? As determined in our previous questions, it is 3. 3 goes on top. 4 times 3 is 12. And we have a remainder of 0. And now we have an answer of 0 0.93. So once again, we can see that the digits in the quotient of 3.72 divided by 4 is the same as 37.2 divided by 4 or 372 divided by 4. The digits remain the same. The process remains the same. The only thing that you have to pay attention to is where the decimal is in the dividend. And once you reach that decimal, it must go up into the quotient.